Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. Just wanna chat with y'all, man. I wanna break down another reasons with y'all. This is gonna be another reasons video. And this is another important topic. Y'all heard me discuss this topic a lot before because it's something very important. As of right now, suicide rates are actually on the rise, you know, because of... You know, because of like all this stuff, you know, the stuff that be going on on social media, like teenagers having an addiction to social media. And when it comes down to them not getting enough likes on a post, they feel insecure about their self and they feel bad about their self. Social media is not real life. At the same time, social media is the devil. But what I want to discuss with y'all, I want to break down with y'all reasons why people go through depression. One of the main reasons why people go through depression is because they eat unhealthy foods like junk food. They probably like eat McDonald's every day. They eat Burger King every day. It's like every single day they eat fast food. I mean, don't get me wrong. Junk food is delicious, but when you're the type of person that eats junk food on a regular basis, when you eat junk food on a daily basis, like, especially if you don't even, like, add no vegetables or no fruit with it, yeah, I mean, you know, it, that, that food, it makes you sluggish and, you you know, you get depressed, you know, like they say, you are what you eat, you know, you get depressed, <laughs> and, you know, like, you know, I mean, you, you, you feel that like you're alone. You feel like you, you, you probably don't have nothing to live for when you really do. You know, it's time for you to hold your head up high, stay up, stay strong, you know, get to work on whatever it is that you want to do because you probably work in a job that you hate every single day. You can't, you can't give up easy. You got to stay strong. You got to be in it for the long run. You got to be in it for the long haul. I mean, with this YouTube stuff, I'm in it for the long haul. You know, I mean, I'm going to live my life doing what I want to do. I'm going to live my life doing the things that make me happy and getting paid from it. You know, I'm not about to live my whole life on planet Earth doing something that I hate to do for a living because that's not why I'm here on this Earth. I could care less about what the people around me got to say. But, you yeah, <laughs> You know, it all, yeah, one of the main reasons is because of the food that you eat. You eat junk food on a regular basis. You you stop by Burger King drive-thru every day. You stop by McDonald's drive-thru every day. Yeah, you putting all of that toxic food in your body and it's making you sluggish. And, you know, you get depressed. You are what you eat. Another reason why people go through depression, social media. When it comes down to Instagram, when it comes down to Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, you know, I mean, somebody, you know, you upload a post on social media and it probably only gets like one or two likes. And then you see all these other people that you follow, they get in all of these likes, all of these views on their videos and on their posts, but you're not getting that. It makes you feel bad about yourself. It makes you feel insecure about yourself. Social media is not real life. Just because you see somebody on social media and it looks like they're happy, it looks like they're living the be their best life, it looks like they're having the greatest time ever. Social media is not real life. Behind the scenes, when they're not on social media, they're going through some dark and some devastating stuff. Sometimes the situation can be so devastating. It can be so dark. It could be sensitive to the point that it's too sensitive to discuss. You know what I mean? But yo, yeah, don't let social media fool you. Don't let social media trick you. You are fine. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are gorgeous. You are smart. You are intelligent. You're amazing. You know, what I mean, you, you got to sometimes you, you have to just look yourself in the mirror and you got to tell yourself that every day in order to build up your confidence because you have great things within you. Social media does not define that social media does not define you, you know, just like the school system doesn't define you. 
But yo, another main reason is social media. And I would also like to break down a, th a third main reason. Breakups, relationships, being afraid of being alone. And I know that there's some of you guys out there, some of you girls out there that be going into a relationship after another, after another, after another. And then you deal with a breakup after another, after another, after another. That causes depression too. When you gonna give yourself time to heal? When you gonna give yourself time to heal up and recover? You know what I mean? You can't just like fall in love immediately, especially when it comes down to a marriage. Marriage is not something that you should rush into at all. Like if like if you gonna rush into a marriage, more more than likely, it's not gonna work out. Y'all gonna end up having arguments at, like like probably every day. Yeah, marriage is, is something that nobody should rush into. And that's the thing about it. Like, with marriage, y'all end up getting engaged. And then you come to find out the person was doing something, you know, bad behind your back. Like, cheating on you. You found out that the person, you know, was, you know, was not really what you thought they were. But, yo, yeah, you gotta give yourself time to heal up and recover you know, practice being alone, learn how to be alone. And I would also say another reason why, why you dealing with the why reasons why people go through depression. And this is like for the teenagers and, you know, like the adults, like in college, I would say another main reason school. You know, when you got to take a test in this class, when you got to take a test in that class, you know, like they try to cram all of this information in your brain. You got to study for a test in this class, a study for a test in that class. It can get pretty stressful, especially if it's a class where it's like you got to take a test or a quiz every single day. And they try to like cram all of the information in your brain. They try and they, they really be trying to turn the students into robots. Nobody can do a job better than a robot. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, you're a human being, not a robot. But, you yeah, like I told y'all before, nobody is a failure in school. Nobody is a failure. It doesn't matter how many F's you get, how many D's you get. They They want you to be at a very low vibration. They want you to be a worker. They want you to work a job that you hate. You know, they don't want you to find out what your purpose is. So, yo, you know, hold your head up high, stay strong, live your life, find your purpose, get on the grind every day, stay on the grind every day, get to work right now. But, yeah, I just wanted to break down with y'all reasons why people go through depression. You know what I mean? Because suicide rates are actually on the rise. <laughs> You know, just want to help the people out. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, love y'all.